All right, folks, how you doing? So in my last video, I talked about uh, the Bigfoot connection with Missing 411. So this is a little bit of a follow-up video from the same book as last time, Mars and the Lost Planet Man, uh, by Lou Baldwin. And this is a very short chapter. It's called Inner Earth. As the inner earth of the hollow earth is a subject which fascinates me and I think has a great deal to do with Scotland, as is outlined, for example, in The Biggest Secret by uh, David Icke. But I've got loads of Hollow Earth books, and I'm going to make, be making loads of Hollow Earth videos in the future. Absolutely a ton of them. But this is kind of like a brief introduction to that whole thing, and a follow-up from the last one. So we're on page 200, Inner Earth. Earth is small in comparison to other planets in the star system and in the galaxy. Nevertheless, the Earth is huge. Humans and the millions of animals, insects, and plant life on the surface of Earth is significant yet doesn't amount to much on the surface of the earth. Oceans cover a large part of earth's surface and hides within such large numbers of aquatic species that many will never be discovered. Earth's interior is massive. Earth is not hollow as some theories have suggested but earth has abundant caves and caverns far below the surface and inaccessible to humans due to the crushing pressure at certain depths. At present, Earth's surface population is between 7 and 8 billion people, insignificant compared to inner Earth's inhabitants, which is in the multiple billions. Some of the inhabitants are humans, most are humanoid or some other type of creature or being, intelligent or otherwise. Human technology will not detect the thousands of hidden population centres inside the Earth. Surface humans are routinely taken to inner planet spaces during abductions, and mostly returned unharmed by their alien captors. Again, this ties into Missing 411. It might actually explain it quite a bit. Black Ops, working for alien beings, do most of the initial handling of humans, turning over the humans to grey aliens or inner Earth beings for black operation purposes. So these abductions and these people who are going missing in the woods, it might, just, might not just be the Martians who are taking them but also these inner earth beings and you know Dave Politis has gone blue in the face talking about sniffer dogs and tracking dogs they take them out to the wilderness where people have gone missing and the dogs don't detect anything you know the person's right there they're at the back of the trail or they're right at the front or they just disappear for two seconds and next minute it's just like they vanished off the face of the earth well yeah quite literally anyway continuing with the passage earth had thousands of pyramid like structures covering large sections of the planet millions of years in the past we still do most have been worn down by the elements of nature over the course of hundreds of thousands of years remnants of the vast network of structures exist in nearly every country still and hidden away under thick forests and mounds of dirt and thick strata of rock shelves that used to be part of the pyramids in america the Ozarks Mountains and Appalachian Mountains hide thousands of acres that once housed the huge pyramid structures that easily dwarf the ancient pyramids found around the world today. Structures that were designed to provide fortified shelter against monstrous creatures and beings from the stars that have rained down and invaded Earth many times in the past and will again. So a very short chapter. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, like I say, that serves as an excellent uh, introduction to Flat Earth, well not Flat Earth, sorry, Hollow Earth videos that I'm going to be doing in the future. And it also provides a tail end to the last video. I don't believe in Flat Earth at all. I think the Flat Earth thing is ridiculous, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't think Hollow Earth theory is ridiculous at all, though. Uh, even if it's not quite Hollow Earth as such, but more like underground passages and uh, tunnel systems. Anyway, uh, thank you for listening.